Just to show why it matters, this is the Banana Zone. I posted this on Twitter. Global M2, 10-week lead over Bitcoin. Do you need anything better than that? Oh, wait. I can give you something better than that. I can give you the GMI total liquidity, which is both private sector and state sector liquidity versus Bitcoin. It says the Banana Zone is here. That's the only thing I can I can think of is that everything I look at says the Banana Zone is here. Bitcoin seasonal, seasonality, election years, October up only and these are big moves same in the russell 2000 you know i'm not going to go through all of julian's charts because that's unfair and we're going to do it to the uh, real vision rvip group tomorrow we've got an ama there where we're going to really dig in uh, to some of our stuff here's bitcoin last year versus this year i mean really and this is la la land eth last year versus this year so oh and by the way you know, that's the straightforward bitcoin pattern i mean everything i look at Every single thing shouts the Banana Zone. Now, I'm wearing my Banana Zone t-shirt because I think it's coming. I think it's coming in days or maybe a week. And before I said, well, maybe it's next month, maybe it's a month after, maybe it's this week, I don't know. I'm like, no, no, no. Julian and I in Global Macro Investor, which is the flagship research service. And if you haven't checked it out, go to globalmacroinvestor.com, have a look, see what we do from there. That's where we do the deep work. I think we do more macro crypto work than anybody else in the world. And I think our macro work is the best in the world as well. And we've done thousands of hours on this. And I, I know it sounds hubristic, but I, I, I honestly give this banana zone an 80 something percent chance of happening almost immediately. Give it two weeks, within two weeks. Um, and I know that sticking my neck out and wearing my banana zone t-shirt, I try not to jinx the thing, but you know, as I've talked about, all of our hopes and dreams are in this. Mine too, Real Vision as a business. Um, almost everybody I speak to, you know, I've been on the phone with a few, you know, billionaire GMI subscribers, friends of mine. Everybody wants this to happen. Everyone needs this to happen um, because people are invested. The wait is finally over. Interest rates have been cut. Liquidity is about to pour back into the system. The banana zone has now begun. That's the latest message out from macroeconomic expert, Raul Pal. In his latest update to investors, Raul broke down why the first interest rate cut we have seen in four years is going to have a huge effect on asset prices, but particularly crypto. When interest rates are cut and more money enters the economy, assets further out on the risk curve outperform. This means Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, and the rest of the crypto market. In this video, Raul breaks down with various charts and thousands of hours of research why he believes the crypto banana zone a period characterized by parabolic price moves upwards, is about to begin any day. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video where Raul breaks down the one crypto he has found that he believes will outperform not only Bitcoin, but also Solana as well. Also guys, only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed. If you enjoy finance content, consider subscribing or liking the video. It's free and you can always change your mind. Now, here's Raul Pal with why the banana zone is finally here. Markets, FOMC, blah, 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 50 basis points, blah, 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 nobody cares. Um, markets are always unreadable around events like this. You need a day or two to settle down. I've been saying this for a long time. Inflation is falling. Rates are at five, were at 5.5%, they're now at 5%. Inflation, headline inflation's at 2.5%. Half the people on the internet is like, oh my God, inflation's so high, it's 2.5% and it's falling. In fact, I'm going to show you a chart. This Mount Fuji pattern is so consistent, yet everybody bleats, oh, well, they're gonna, if they cut rates, they're gonna bring inflation back. No, they're not, they never have. Inflation will come at the end of the cycle. This is so normal. Inflation is gonna keep falling, it'll be below 2%, and guess what? I think rates are coming below 2%, and people don't understand this yet. So the Fed, blah, 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 but generally speaking, risk assets should be doing really well. And risk assets are doing really well, because guess what? As I've talked about, bleated about, explained to you, in the everything code is global liquidity. This is the time to have to roll the debts. Global liquidity is gonna go up. And hey presto, it's going up just like it did every other time. So that's global M2. We can use GMI weekly global liquidity, which is just central bank orientated, less exciting yet. When we get to the Chinese, their assets, their balance sheet in white, that's cyclical. It will continue to grow. They will probably do a lot of, um, of quantitative easing. But generally speaking, overall, the GMI total liquidity index breaking out. Just to show why it matters, this is the Banana Zone. I posted this on Twitter. Global M2, 10-week lead over Bitcoin. Do you need anything better than that? Oh, wait, I can give you something better than that. I can give you the GMI total liquidity, which is both private sector and state sector liquidity versus Bitcoin. It says the Banana Zone is here. That's the only thing I can, I can think of is that everything I look at says the Banana Zone is here. Bitcoin seasonality, 
election years, October up only. Right? And these are big moves. Same in the Russell 2000. You know, I'm not going to go through all of Julian's charts because that's unfair and we're going to do it to the uh, Real Vision RVIP group tomorrow. We've got an AMA there where we're going to really dig in uh, to some of our stuff. Here's Bitcoin last year versus this year. I mean, really? And this is la la land, ETH last year versus this year. So, oh, and by the way, you know, that's the straightforward Bitcoin pattern. I mean, everything I look at, every single thing shouts the banana zone. Now, I'm wearing my banana zone t-shirt because I think it's coming. I think it's coming in days or maybe a week. And before I said, well, maybe it's next month, maybe it's a month after, maybe it's this week, I don't know. I'm like, no, no, no. Julian and I in Global Macro Investor, which is the flagship research service. And if you haven't checked it out, go to globalmacroinvestor.com, have a look, see what we do from there. That's where we do the deep work. I think we do more macro crypto work than anybody else in the world. And I think our macro work is the best in the world as well. And we've done thousands of hours on this. And I, I know it sounds hubristic, but I, I, I honestly give this banana zone an 80 something percent chance of happening almost immediately. Give it two weeks, within two weeks. Um, and I know that sticking my neck out and wearing my banana zone t-shirt, I'm trying not to jinx the thing. But you know, as I've talked about, all of our hopes and dreams are in this. Mine too, Real Vision as a business. Um, almost everybody I speak to, you know, I've been on the phone with a few, you know, billionaire GMI subscribers, friends of mine. Everybody wants this to happen. Everyone needs this to happen um, because people are invested. Now, technology, there's a bunch of other ways of skinning this cat. But really, people have been like this with high interest rates, a slow um, business cycle where ISM has been bumping along. And I know people like a lot of, you know, people on Twitter are like, oh, well, my God, the markets are all time high. What's everybody complaining about? Speak to real fucking people when their mortgages are like that, their interest payments are like that, their credit card bills are like that. Speak to corporations who are trying to borrow money that aren't kind of you know, AAA rated tech companies that have no debt. You know, all of this stuff, it has been very, very difficult for a while. Rates have been the highest they have for a very long time. The rate of change of interest rates was enormous. Inflation is now wildly below interest rates. So, so real rates are ridiculously restrictive. And people feel it. People are not happy. People don't have a expen uh, personal expenditure abilities to do what they want. But it's coming. It's coming. The business cycle is changing. So all of you, all of you who run businesses, all of you who see the slugginess of the cycle and wonder why the equity market's going to all-time highs and your business isn't yet, it's all going to come. Things are going to improve dramatically. The equity market's driven by liquidity. Your earnings, yours and mine, are driven by the business cycle. And that is just about to pick up. So cheers. Here's to a much, much better 18 months ahead, both for your portfolio, for your personal lives and everything else. So that's really the banana zone. The banana zone is here and now. The other thing I put out on X was about SUI. SUI is a um, crypto token that I'm on the foundation board of. So yes, I'm shilling it, but I'm actually not. Um, I don't talk about stuff that I don't think is going to go up. It has been, I've been talking about this for a while. I've been warning people that I think SUI is going to be one of the chosen ones of the cycle. And it's starting to happen. I mean, it's broken out versus... I mean, again, we're actually going to put this out as a, um, some more analysis. I'm, I've written about it in Global Macro Investor. It'll probably be a trade idea of some form with a percentage weighting and a whole bunch of other stuff in uh, Real Vision Pro Macro very, very soon. Um, but basically, and Pro Macro is the kind of elite research service um, part of, of Real Vision. It's a fantastic service. It's going to give you all the information you need. And you'll get stuff like the, the macro investing tool and stuff like that. So do check that out if you haven't. I, no, I'm sure that the, the portfolio there is um, is one of the best performing portfolios um, you'll have seen over time, the, the model portfolio for that. We've done pretty well with the trade recommendations uh, on the global macro investor side. So I'm pretty pleased with that. But SUI, it's outperforming pretty much everything. And most importantly, it's outperforming Solana, which is my big bet. And Solana is you know, my chosen one. I have 90% of my net worth in Solana. But SUI, I've obviously been granted some tokens as being part of the foundation. They're locked up. Etc. Um, but I'm not going to sell. In fact, no, some of them are unlocked. I'm, I'm not going to sell. In fact, I've been buying personally because um, I think it's a chosen one. I think it's going to do really fucking well. Um, yes, there's a low free float, which everyone goes, oh my God, they're going to be dumping on you. But a lot of the unlock happened a few months ago. Really, it's now pretty phased and pretty low key. But in a bull market, in a really, really interesting protocol that has attention, a low free float means a smaller amount of money drives a larger price rise. The reverse can happen in the bear market too. So just beware, but we're in bull market times. You know, one of what I like about SUI is what they're really trying to do is the team 
came out of Facebook um, or Meta, where they built the Libra project that was shut down by every government in the world. Not joking, I mean, they were literally told that they were not going to do this um, by everybody from the World Bank to the BIS to all the major central banks. And the team left and they started, one group started Aptos, the other started SUI. They rebuilt the move language they invented for this um, and they built an incredibly sophisticated chain. But the point being is, it's really bloody fast. The latency of the chain is less than one second for final finality, which is, you know, if you think half the stuff, it's like minutes. Uh, the latency is is fast enough for gaming, financial markets, that kind of stuff. Um, they've just launched launching Walrus, which is a uh, decentralized data storage layer using blobs that's built on top of the SUI network. Uh, so think of Filecoin, think of AWS, decentralized, um, but for a Web3 world, that's coming on top. There's a bunch of other applications. Pilotfish is coming, which is their version of Fire Dancer, which will give it kind of unlimited TPS. It's just a bloody interesting project. You may hate it. You may have something else you prefer. All I ask you to do is show to yourself, not to me, that your chart is going to outperform Solana. And then is it going to outperform Sui? Is it going to outperform... Yeah, that's the way to do things. And that's what got me into the Bitcoin ETH cross. That's what got me into the Solana, ETH Solana trade. And um, and Sui, I've been flagging this for a while. I thought it was looking like the chart was going to do this. So it feels like it's one of the big ones. There'll be other stuff that will outperform Sui without question. Maybe it's your token. Maybe it's your, and I'm not going to mention, every time I mention a bunch of tokens, everyone, I get shouts about so I just can't be bothered with you guys. Um, but listen, I believe in abundance and I think I wish you in whatever your choices are the best. It is not player versus player. I'm just trying to make as much money for myself and for my subscribers of Pro Macro and uh, Global Macro Investor and the Macro Investing Tool. All the things that I do to try and help people and publicly, I share a lot of my information for free. Pisses off some of the people who are paying tens of thousands of dollars for my research, but it's really important for me to help as many people in this journey as possible. If we're going through the largest opportunity in all macro history in the shortest period of time, I've got to take as many people as possible with me. If not, I'm fucking selfish. That's not why I set up Real Vision. It's not why I've been doing this. It's really important to me that you guys do the best. Now, I am not fallible. I'm not a guru. I will not get everything right. Um, and you will probably help hate me at some point and love me at other times. Just, I, I mentioned this a lot, just realize I'm just trying to do the best I can to help. I'm not trying to diss your coin. I'm not trying to do anything against you. I'm not trying to scam you, shill you, do anything. I am just doing what I'm doing myself and I'm telling you what I'm doing. And if you don't want to do that, that's good too. If you want to come along with me for the ride, that's fine too. I don't have all the answers. I will not be the best in the world. Anyway, um, just wanted to Tell you that. So there's Raoul Pal giving us a powerful breakdown of the macroeconomic forces at play and how they could influence asset prices, especially in the crypto space. It's not every day we see the start of a new market phase, and the potential upside of this one could be game changing. As Raoul explained, assets further out on the risk curve, like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana, could be the biggest beneficiaries of this new liquidity surge. His thorough analysis, backed by hours of research and insightful charts, paints a very promising picture of where the market is headed. The banana zone represents more than just price appreciation. It symbolizes a potential shift in the broader financial system, where crypto could play an even larger role in the global economy. If you've made it this far, you're already ahead of the curve by equipping yourself with the knowledge you need to navigate these upcoming shifts. If you enjoyed the content or found Raoul's analysis helpful, please take a moment to hit that like button and consider subscribing. Only a small percentage of viewers are actually subscribed, and by joining the community, you'll get access to timely updates on critical market moves like these. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. We'll be continuing to cover the latest macro trends and how they're shaping the financial landscape. Also, feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. We'd love to hear what you think about the banana zone, the recent rate cuts, or even the specific crypto Raoul highlighted. Engaging with you all is one of the best parts of what we do here. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned for more in-depth insights on finance, crypto, and everything in between. We'll catch you in the next video.